Welcome to this series of videos on the statistical package R. I'm John Lee, a tutor from ACTED, the actuarial education company, and in this brief video I'll be showing you how to get help with the functions in R. In the last tutorial we introduced some basic functions in R. However, because R is command based, if you don't know the name of the command or how the commands work, you're going to have trouble getting R to do what you want. So where can you get help? When you start up R, it helpfully suggests that you can type help dot start open bracket close bracket. This takes you to the general help HTML page, which links to all the manuals, reference documents and other miscellaneous material. This achieves the same as choosing the help menu and then HTML help. Rather than going to this general page, you can also get these manuals and other items directly through the help menu. However, the manuals and FAQ documents are clearly intended for experts, and so aren't going to be much help until you get more proficient in R. Let's look at a couple of scenarios that may occur. Supposing I was working with the log function, and I'd forgotten its arguments. What I would do is use the function args. It unsurprisingly lists the arguments of the log function, which are the x, i.e. the value we want to get the log of, and the second value is the option for the base. Note that it says base equals exp1. That tells us that the default base is the exponential of 1, i.e. this is what we get if we miss out this option in the arguments. So just writing log of 10 will just give us the natural log of 10. But frankly, just typing the function without any of the arguments does exactly the same thing. Supposing I want to get more detail on the log function. Well, I could make use of the help function type help and then the argument is the name of the function that I want help on. This then takes us to the HTML page of the log function. It gives us the arguments and way way more. Perhaps a little too much depth. Again you'll see it's written for experts and not novices. We could also reach this page by typing question mark log or by going to the help menu and choosing the R functions text, where you type in the name of the function, press return. Now at the bottom of this help page are some examples. Rather than reading about them, you can run them in R by using the example function. So let's type example log. Some of these examples can often be a bit obscure. So if in doubt, you may just end up Googling the function or looking on YouTube to see if someone can explain it in English. However, one of the main issues you're facing are is knowing what on earth the correct command is for what you want it to do. And that's a little bit trickier to solve. Supposing you know that the function's name starts with log. You could then type log and then hit tab. This will then list all the commands that start with log. In this case, we can see that there are eight. This might help us to spot the right function. And we could look up each of these using the help function to see which one it is. However, supposing you don't know what it starts with, but you do know that it contains log, in which case you use the apropos function. This comes from the French apropos, which literally means to purpose, i.e. with reference or with regard to this purpose. The only frustration with this function is you have to put the argument in speech marks, or you end up with this error, which is trying to tell us that we've not entered a character. Using the up arrow to repeat the function and putting in the speech marks, let's now use that. You'll see that we get the eight functions we got when we use tab and another 15 functions. Apropos can also be accessed via the help menu and you type the characters that the function contains in here. Supposing that neither tab nor the apropos function helps find what you're looking for in which case you'll have to do a more general search. That is help.search and log. However, again, notice that it says it wants a character string, i.e. we want speech marks. This will then give you a list of all functions that have something to do with log. Note that the beginning of each entry gives the name of the package where that function can be found. For example, here for the log function, it says the package is base, which is our base package, i.e. the standard package that is already included in R. 
we could also achieve this by typing double question mark log or by using the search help function in the help menu. However, you'll probably just end up googling this instead.